Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Mustangs Unscripted. And we're here today with Mrs. Brightbill, one of our bright and up and coming folks. And uh, Miss Brightbill, one of the questions that I thought of when I sat down and reflected on this next session is a look back years and years ago. You and I knew each other back in Seminole. Yes. And um, here it's odd that here we are, we cross paths <laughs> again, yet here in Olton, Texas. And I would like to know a little bit about your experience in Olton. What keeps you and your family grounded in Olton? What keeps you grounded in this school, uh, working with these kids and folks? Um, for me, this is where God called me to be. You know how hard it was for me to get a job in elementary and everything for so many years. And I kept expanding my certification and still had trouble getting hired places. And when Mr. Uni was here, he called me up and was like, hey, I know you're not certified for high school yet, but will you come talk to me about this position? And I've been here for five years in this high school English position. And it's family, it's my kids have flourished here. It's just home. So if you're looking, if you're talking to an outsider and, and you're selling the concept of they ask, so what's so great about Olton? You know, what's 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 different about Olton than any other place in the in the area that I could go to? I think with how much we care about our kids, it's not just I don't know how to say it, but you take what happened with one of our seniors that graduated last year. She lost her parents two weeks after graduation, and it wasn't just the community pulling together it was a school pulling together for her family. Her brother still goes to school here. And having that sense of love for our students is something that I haven't really seen in too many other districts. Well, that's good. Thanks for sharing that because I think there's a lot of people that share that sentiment. Um, so, and you yourself, like any one of us, you go through trials and you've gone through trials getting a job and, every, and you've had some different things going on in your life as well and yet here you are you're inspired you're working you're motivating and what what encouragement or what advice would you give to somebody in similar situations just not to give up to know that your timing may not be God's timing God's timing is ultimate, and it was his timing for me to be out here. There were things that came up throughout the years when I wasn't getting hired where I was needing at home. I was needed at home. And once I got hired out here, it helped my kids. You know, we dealt with a lot of different issues with my 14-year-old, and coming out here, we got a lot of those solved, some of them not. But it's, even though he's not out here anymore, his teachers still check up on him. Miss Ramage was one of worked with him a lot, and she still checks up on him and makes sure of how he's doing. And she loves my little one. She loves Cat, even though she never had Cat. And it's that family sense out here that I love. And search for that place. Search for a place where you can grow, where you have that sense of belonging. Well, it sounds like you. You make me feel better because you fit, sound like you feel like you're a work in progress. I am definitely a work in progress, and I think we're all a work in progress. And we'll keep encouraging you to look look to what what's your source of hope, and uh, we'll continue asking you what's your why. Thank you for joining us on Mustangs Unscripted.